was like watching Forrest Gump, man. I just didn't want it to end. You know what I'm saying? I did not want it to end. I mean, man, I'm just completely blown away. Yeah, this is going to cause a little bit of controversy. What is going on, everyone? I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Ty Smith, not Todd. If it's your first time visiting my channel, let me say welcome. Let me also say thank you for checking me out. But if you plan on subscribing to my channel, do yourself a favor and me. Don't do it just yet. Get an idea of who I am, what I'm about, what my beliefs are before you subscribe to me, if you would, please, okay? I really appreciate it if you did it that way. And how do you do that? Go to my channel, click on the words, Playlist. When you click on playlist, it's going to bring up a bunch of different video topics. You're going to see a variety of things. Church slash God topics, home entertainment videos, marriage, relationship, advice videos, advice to subscribers, fitness, health, comedy. There's a lot of things on there, all right? I want you to do that to get an idea of who I am and what this channel is about before subscribing, if you would, please. And also, if you want to um, support me in what I do, you can purchase a t-shirt. The link is down there in the description. If you want to donate to the cause and all that and different things that I do, you will see that you can also donate to my patron channel or you can donate to PayPal directly. We're doing great things here. Let's go ahead and go into this next video. All right, so the next song that I'm getting ready to do is requested by Brandon Kidwell and it's by Tom Segura and it's called Dr. Dick. So I'm going to go ahead and go around. I'm moving back to this side. I ain't like the way that felt. I'm moving back to this side. So uh, let's see what this right here is about. Tom Segura, Tom Segura or Segura, and it's called Dr. Dick. So here we and go. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I went to the doctor and I was like, all right, I'm just going to get a checkup, see what's going on. The honest truth is I knew it wasn't going to be awesome. Okay. I knew the doctor wasn't going to be like, uh, you might be surprised to hear this, but you're perfect. Like... <laughs> You're a perfect physical specimen, man. I knew that wasn't gonna happen, but I didn't expect him to be a dick. Usually they're not. I feel like in my experience, doctors are polite, almost overly polite, where it's phony and condescending. When they go, oh, really interesting story you got there. Doctors do that because you're telling them a story and doctors don't wanna hear a story. Doctors wanna hear, this hurts. Not, I was over at my friend Charlie's house and we went to move the ottoman and I mean you can use it as a coffee table or you could use it as an ottoman, it's up to you. And your doctor's like, I want to blow my fucking brains out right now. I go in there, I sit on the exam table, which is my least favorite table to sit on in the world. It's the only table that in 30 years I've sat on where my feet don't touch the ground. So I feel like a fucking toddler waiting like... <laughs> my doctor comes in he doesn't say hello he doesn't say good morning he just walks in he points at me which is super aggressive you know <laughs> to start a conversation with somebody like hey man you're like hey what's up man and he goes do you want something for your hair and I go what <laughs> and he goes do you want something for your hair and I go I don't get it. And he goes, has nobody told you that your hair's falling out? And I was like, damn. No. And he goes, oh, sorry. Like, All right. Then he pulls my chart out of the slot, super dramatic so that it makes a fucking noise. He goes, I'm like, and he goes, wow. And I'm like, really? Wow. Is it full-blown AIDS? Like, why is it, wow? <laughs> and he goes, you weigh 245. And I go like, yeah, like I knew that shit. And he goes, you weighed 230 last time you were here. Not exactly what I would call weight loss. <laughs> and I'm like, are we at a fucking roast or something right now? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> then he says, you know, you're the fattest patient I've seen all day. And I go, it's 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> and he goes, still. <laughs> He's like, you know, we ran your blood work. It turns out your muscle enzymes are through the roof. 
And I go, yeah, man, like, I'm super strong. Like, how is that a problem? <laughs> and he goes, they're off the charts. I'm like, even better. I'm probably your strongest patient, man. <laughs> and he goes, I don't think you understand muscle enzymes. And I go, that's true. I don't know what they are. <laughs> and he goes, well, the only way you could have them this high would be like, A, if you were an Olympic athlete, which clearly... You know, I'm like, dude, what is the deal, man? And he goes, the other way would be if you were a cocaine addict. And I go, I don't do coke. And he goes, I'm your doctor. You don't have to lie to me. And I go, I'm not lying. And he goes, I can't treat you if you're not going to be honest. And I go, hey, man, aren't cokeheads skinny? Isn't that like part of the deal? And he goes, usually, yeah. The nurse comes in, she takes my chart out of his hands and she goes, oh my God, his muscle enzymes are so high. Maybe he runs marathons. And my doctor goes, look at him. <laughs> so at this point I go, this was a lot of fun. Thank you for having me today. I'm gonna leave now. And he goes, all right. And he goes, hold, hold on a second. Do you have a ring on your finger? And I go, yeah. And he goes, you're married. And I go, yeah. And he goes, to a guy? And I go, no. And he goes, oh, I thought you were gay. And I go, why? And he goes, I don't know. I'm like, all right, dude. And he goes, hey, I'm just kidding. And I go, that's fine. He goes, but check it out. And he takes my chart and he shows it to me. And he had written gay question mark on my medical chart. The thing that gets sent to other doctors has his inside, <laughs> maybe he sucks cock joke written on it. I went home, I told my wife, she's like, oh my God, what are you gonna do? And I was like, what do you mean? And she goes, I mean, are you ever gonna go back there? I'm like, are you out of your mind? That's the funniest fucking doctor in the world. Of course I'm going back there. I have like Don Rickles as my primary care physician. It's amazing. I'm faking injuries to go back to this guy. You know you're a piece of shit. I'm like, yeah, I know. He's fucking amazing. Oh. Man! Let me tell you something first of all. You tricked me a little bit with that one, Brandon. I'm thinking like, huh? What is going on? When they do start talking, I'm thinking like it's going to be about to start talking about a certain thing and he's going to go into a song. I didn't know this was about to be like a comedy sketch right here. That was pretty funny and a lot of messed up stuff, especially me being in, uh, in medical stuff and all that. That is too crazy, man. Even though that was realistically, a lot of stuff he was saying in there was true, but it would never happen with the doctor writing on his chart and all that. He would be in a lot of deep trouble on that. But no, man, I, I enjoyed that. I got, I'm not going to lie. It threw me for a loop at, the, at first because uh, I didn't know what to expect. I thought I was about to listen to a song and I just kept on waiting for the song to break out. But whoever this guy is, man, he, he's pretty funny. I like his sarcasm. Um, that was Tom, Seg I hope I'm saying his name right, Tom Segura, and this is off of Completely Normal. And this was <laughs> Dr. Dick. It was entertaining to me. Like I said, in the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, I got thrown off because I was waiting for him to break out in song. So I was expecting something to be played and it didn't. So then I started catching, oh, it's gonna be a comedy Skit. So anyway, I already repeated that. I'm repeating myself a lot. Um, what made you pick this out? And next time, give me a heads up saying, oh, listen to this comedy sketch because I had no idea what was about to come at me, man. Everybody else, hopefully y'all got some laughs out of that. I know y'all weren't expecting it either, the MRMIs, unless somebody already knew who he was. So, you know, sometimes I don't want to put these people in there because some of y'all get to spoil and stuff. Y'all get in there and start telling every, oh, yeah, this is the one where he talks about. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Anyway, um... Mr. Brandon K. Well enjoyed that. Hopefully everybody got some laughs, especially after all the news that we were getting yesterday. Hopefully you guys are able to laugh tonight, whatever. Please, I hope y'all were able to. I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Let me know what you guys think. Leave it in the comments below after this video. I hope and pray every last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys in great health. God bless you all in Jesus' name.